Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys, so today I want to teach you how to perfectly and evenly spread a deck of cards just like so. Now, this here is relatively easy, and just with a little bit of practice, you can do this easily. However, if you don't play as much with cards as I do, then you maybe don't know how to do this. And there are a few key points, and I'll, I'll go over them as fast as I can, and you'll be able to get this down right after this video or as we watch it, okay? So grab your deck of cards and uh, and just start, <laughs> let's just start. You start off by holding the deck in this position here, okay? Some people like to have three fingers here. Me, myself, I like to have two fingers here, okay? Um, the key to making the spread look beautiful and nice is having the index finger here, okay? If the index finger is not here guiding the cards and guiding the pressure, the spread will be uneven. You see, there are way more cards here than here, and it just looks it like you can maybe, but it, it's not as beautiful. Uh, so what you're doing, you're holding it like this, three fingers or two fingers, or, or, or if you have six fingers, then you place the index finger here. You place the cards wherever you want to spread them from, and then you just evenly put pressure and you just spread them. If you do it fast, it could be a little bit more beautiful. And then you just decide how you want your spread to look like. You can do a rainbow, or you can like, I don't know, I'm not that good. I've seen people on Instagram doing some sick spreads. <laughs> I have to practice more to do that. Anyways, there are, what more key points do we have? So another thing I've seen people do is that you start your spread by putting a little bit of a ramp here. That, in that way, maybe you can get a little bit more even spread. I don't know if that helps. If it helps you, let me know. And me, myself, I usually just go straight away and do it like this. Now here comes the cool part opening up the deck and revealing it like so. This is also easy, but what you do need for here, here for this, is some sort of a friction, some sort of a, I have a close-up pad, you could do this on a mat or whatever, because you need, the cards need to grip somewhere. So if you try to do this on like, let's say the table look, it will look like this. Oh, it worked. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, this is usually what happens. It's way better to have some sort of friction because then it will work perfectly like this. And you can also be super cool about it and uh, split the deck. You can come here, you just open up and then you can split it with another finger going like, ooh. That's cool, right? And you can also do it like this. Take a card and run the card here. I uh, know it's maybe something for you, zoom. To sum it up, the, it's all in the index finger, okay? And the grip, so you grip it like this, three fingers, two fingers, up to you. You put, place the index finger here, and then you place the cards wherever you wanna do the spread. And then with the index finger, guiding the spread and guiding the pressure, putting the pressure down like this, that's where the magic happens, that's how you get that beautiful spread. So the index finger, and the and and these the rest of the fingers are just guiding the spread because without them it won't be as straight this is how it happens so it's here and then you just and with index finger and you're flaring it out like so all right guys if <laughs> you're all right if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll answer if other than that just thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out